When you think of historic Cincinnati neighborhood over the Rhine, the last things you would think about are pop culture's favorite digital pocket monsters, Pokemon. You may have thought your years of hearing about Pikachu or Squirtle were long gone, but as the summer heats up in the Queen City, Pokemon Go is becoming the hottest mobile game in the world. The game is so popular that resident Heather Wyatt has organized Cincinnati's first Pokemon Go pub crawl. But what exactly is Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go is a augmented reality app from Niantic. And what it is, it takes the game Pokemon and it sort of superimposes a Pokemon, like using your camera and your GPS, you use like a real world map and you search for these imaginary creatures and you catch them. It's a super awesome new app that they came out with, with the augmented reality. So it seems like you're catching real Pokemon. Ugh. When I first started playing it, like, I couldn't get off of it. I was out at 2 o'clock in the morning catching Pokemon. This is what we grew up on, one of the games that we played as children, and we always like, we always dreamed of being able to go out and catch Pokemon. And finally, able to actually go and do it, you were never able to go and do that as a 10 or 12 year old. Now we're adults and we can go and do it. It just takes me back to middle school with my old Game Boy, just running around collecting Pokemon, but instead of like using a D-pad and controller, like I'm actually out in the world walking around just that feeling again that I got when I was a kid, just being able to catch like my first Pikachu or Pidgey or whatever it is out there. You know, it's bringing back all this nostalgia from the old Pokemon games that we had growing up, which is why you see it with the, you know, like the 20 and 30 somethings. Indeed, many of these 20 to 30 somethings have flocked to Heather's Pokemon Go pub crawl to relive some childhood nostalgia within a mature setting. So the Pokemon Go pub crawl is an event that will take place over seven different official stops. Uh, we will be going from bar to bar, starting at 16-bit over here. We're going to be separating in three different routes, and along each route are different Pokestops, which will activate, and you can get you know free items from in the game, and they'll be battling against each other to take over the gyms. Participants in the pub crawl are divided up between what team they are aligned with in the game. There is Team Instinct, Team Valor, and Team Mystic. Team Mystic, woo woo, keep out. But what makes a Pokemon trainer choose what team they're on? I think very simplistically, probably just the color. Um, Cause my friend texted me and said, pick Team Mystic. And I was like, well, okay. I mean, I identified with what they said when you signed up for it was that they give you a description of each team. And also it's my favorite legendary bird, Articuno, so. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> the spirit of friendly competition has even provided a means for local businesses to get in on the Pokemon Go trend. I'm an opportunistic guy, so I'm more like, I'm going to make some t-shirts and hopefully, you know, make like a Cincy League thing going on. So I'm having a great time so far because people love Pokemon shirts. I'm hoping that this game will affect the community in, in a positive way, especially the local businesses. Um, all of OTR pretty much is joining together for this Pokemon Go uh, pub crawl. I just asked uh, our owner in there and he said, I think every single person here right now is uh, here for the Pokemon event. So it's definitely pretty cool to see. Like, it's hilarious. You'll go to places where you're like, oh, this is normally dead on a Tuesday, and the whole neighborhood is packed and just swarm with people walking around with their phones in their hands just playing. Pokemon Go has a different social aspect than a lot of mobile games. In its inception, it just looked like everybody would be able to take their phone and go anywhere in the world and catch Pokemon. Um, but I found it to be a much more wholesome social experience uh, where you just meet up with groups of people that you might not ever communicate with in your day-to-day -day lives and just kind of go out and enjoy this thing together. I think it's nice just to be able to like get out and communicate with people. I mean, people knock on games all the time for, you know, us sitting in our basement doing nothing, but here we have the opportunity to really get out there and get to know people that we, like he said earlier, we might not have ever crossed paths with. I mean, it's part of human nature that we all come together and we interact with each other, but I mean, but when you have something in common, that's when it's a better experience where you be able to interact with something that you be able to talk about. It makes it a lot easier to break the ice. Break the ice. That's what's go that's what's happening. We're breaking ice. It's Pokemon. Team Mystic. We're friends already. I don't even know their names. <laughs> with hundreds of attendees showing up for the Pokemon Go pub crawl, one cannot deny the success the event has been for local businesses. Uh, usually uh, by 10 o'clock on weekends, like we're closed by now, but we still have people overflowing out of our restaurant. This has by far been the busiest I've ever seen it here, so it's definitely a good thing.
But for Heather Wyatt and many of the players, the event's true success is the strength and passion of its community. In the social climate that we have right now, to have people joining together in a fun and lighthearted way has been so nice. It's been so friendly. It's, 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 it's one really of the most cool. friendly games I've ever played. Yeah. Like the, the community is incredible, mm -hmm. as, as evidenced by this. Mm -hmm. It's actually awesome. You know what? I wanted to be a detractor because I joke that I'm like always contrarian for no reason. But what's been really be cool is that you're going out in public. And honestly, for years, I've always been the outgoing one that I feel like a weirdo talking to people I don't know. And now people are coming up to me like, hey, are you playing too? Oh, I just caught, you know, whatever this Pokemon's called. Over here, you should totally get into this. It's really cool to see all these people interacting constantly. It's like it takes you places that you wouldn't normally go. Like we've already met, like we've met so many new people and we've got to see so many new like memorials or like just, just everything really around, yeah. around the community we would never know about. So. Yeah. What I really hope to come from this event is for a lot of people to be able to make new friends and really it's just the social aspects. Um, that's been the most rewarding thing for me, being able to see people make new friends and for something that I never intended to happen, this has been a really cool experience.